Hi, this is Wim Das from Mu Technologies, and in this short tutorial, we will show how uh, Mu Voice best can be configured in Ableton Live. So, if you go to the preferences of Ableton, then first thing that you have to do is make sure that your file and folder settings are correct. So, for instance, if you have put a plugin in the VST system folder, then you have to make sure that this is turned on or you can use a custom folder if you like. Second important thing is that the audio is configured correctly so you can choose a sample rate. Currently all the sample rates of Ableton Live are supported by Mu Voice, so there is no problem. But a very important thing is that you have to choose the correct buffer size for minimal latency. Mu Voice typically uses buffers of 128 samples, so it's best to set the buffer size accordingly in Ableton, and you do this by clicking here, pressing 128, and, the, and this is how you set it. Now, if you are going to use MIDI controls, then we'll also show you how to route your MIDI to the plugin. So here is the audio track and this is the MIDI track. So you put the plugin on the audio track. Okay. And now you can route your MIDI out to the first audio channel like this and now your incoming MIDI signal signals will be routed to Mu Voice.